Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Well, it's been an episode now since Update 5 Hotfix 3, and so far the only problems that I'm hearing about is that stutter after you delete something or after something completes. So I'm going to go ahead and fire these guys up again. Both you and you, we already had you set for your duties. One was supplying construction, one was not. And although could be maybe better to reverse that since the stone and the bricks are over here and not over here. But then let's also, we're October. Let's get you guys going again, but let's do it this way. So three on, one on, and apply to all. Okay, so it gets you guys up and running again. Boats should be in great condition. I don't remember if I ever fired you. I did. Okay, so you, one person back from March through October. Okay, so that should pretty much deplete our whole workforce there. <laughs> yeah, but we are... What is next? This one is next. Let's see, you're right there, number two. Number one is the school, number two is there, number three is the granary. You get these guys, well, I guess I chose the one that didn't have a tree. Let me think about that. You are, hmm, yeah, those are getting small. You? No. Granaries, I shoved them all toward the front, didn't I? I don't know where I put them now. Anyway, we'll get those two built. We are taking trees down here. And here. Okay, that one's at that point. And, okay, you're right there. Alrighty. You are three trees. You are one tree. Let's move the three trees next to the one tree. You're over here. So you guys should be doing this job now. If it automatically transitioned back. Getting a wood log for forestry. Yeah, looks like you are. So, and that is... What? What? One tree left. Okay. So you're... Oh, wait. What are you? You're in the new tailor shop. Ah. And the new pigsty is 13 trees left. So he's further down the list somewhere. Okay. Um, so that's the two granaries. The third granary is that one. You're... Okay. You're three left. And we've got a house. Where am I? That is the tavern. Okay. And you have five trees left. Yeah, next one on the list is one of those houses with five trees. The other one is clicking. No, where is the other one? Over here. No. <laughs> there you are. Eleven trees left. And you've got 19 trees left. You're the other one over there with 16 trees left. Yeah, I've got to clean this, this list up. And I think the way to clean it up is to go ahead and eliminate all of these. I think I've talked myself out of, of doing this. So let's go ahead and just take these away. And the game isn't stuttering when these go away. That's interesting. So these are going to go away, which means these... Small granaries probably will too. We'll come up with another thing to do out here. Maybe just normal housing things. I'm not sure. I want to put these here. I think that would work a lot better. And it isn't so far away that we're not ready to use them yet. We could actually start that soon. Especially now that we're employing this one and this one and this one and that one. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to get a few of these built. I think at least the first ones would be close enough to the um, market that's established over here inside these row buildings. And speaking of market, we did have an individual over here, though they seem to have done a pretty good job. But there, it was brought up, though I don't know if that's true, that maybe they can't reach a market. But they're not that far away from these guys. They should be able to. But the confusion came in where I forgot that I had these guys going. So these guys had... Well, these are supposed to be just meats. And these were going to be clothes and whatnot. Just because they're so close, may as well stock them from right here. But these were kind of... I forgot about them. This has everything. So I thought those guys could reach this and or 
this in order to build this house over here. But it's possible, although they are getting cabbage, you know, they're getting quite a bit of stuff that isn't being sold over here. So whether that's all the stuff that they grew, which is quite a variety, or so you have got, do any of you have the potatoes? None of you have the potatoes. Are they allowed to go to the farm and buy it? Because these guys had potatoes at one point. So where did you get your potatoes from? Unless you can reach that market or that market. I don't know. Maybe I need to just stare at this for a while. You can work all the way over here. What you doing? You are... Yeah. Where are you at? Walking this little tiny trail over here you are working the supplying resources of hemp to the don't know you live there but I don't know where you're working I guess I can show path so you are heading toward wow you are just going a long distance to try to uh, earn a earn a living yeah you are 1800 hemp over there 500 in there uh, still 975 and 2000 so we still have a lot of textile so I now am questioning this whole thing these are getting supplies including dried fruit which you could have made and carrots and horseradish and cabbage which you could have made but that's, that's a good variety to come out of just one house maybe I don't know but you are the longest distance away from either of the markets and you couldn't have got them from here I guess we'll just have to wait and watch that one and see whether or not that is a thing or not but all of that to say is that what we do make empty with this space if this market was just a little bit closer, would this become more viable? We could, out of curiosity, let's let's grab one of these. Let's throw a market in the first space that I can over here without taking a tree out. And see something. You will not build um, over here. Let's see, these are the back... Yeah, these are the backs of these. So if I had wanted to put a house right here, it says, warning, no market stall is, is nearby. And I was worried that this one really shouldn't have been built anyway because it only reached those. But I don't know if that's really that much closer than these. I think it can still reach the main market, which means all of these can too. That distance to there is probably more than that distance to there. Yeah, so I think we're okay there. But if I put a market stall in here, um, realistically, it would be in this circle right here. So let's spin you around. Can I even do this? It is occupied. Okay, there's no tree there. Drop you in there. And I don't know if I even need to put anything in it is it just the presence of a market that's all that's needed can I now build here I can not much but I can get one more house worth at least this size um, let's find out let's spin that around this might be a way to provide a little more housing for this farm over here without having to go and build a bunch of houses over here I guess is what I'm trying to say but taking way too much time to get those words out because I got because I needed to test those theories first can I stretch you let's put an F1 if I go further out does it later tell me that I can't reach or is that only where the where the house is sitting so far it says I still can but if I detach you interesting is it saying it because when I first put it down it was in range and now I can just no it finally hit it so it's where the house goes 
right there. Okay. So I could get a pretty sizable lot in there and not have a problem. We can stretch out like... Edo. Oh, did I place it? No. Do that again. So even down in here, let's rotate you a little bit and drop you in as an experiment. So there, there. Yep, we can leave you there and take you way out like so. House should be inside of, yeah. So out to your limits and out to your limits and out to your limits. Yeah, we can get some decent sized lots over here if we moved the market to right in here. Now, it, they may not be able to reach a market stall that's right there if I'm too far away. So that distance there probably needs to ma make sure that these houses are a little closer into here instead of out at the extreme. But we could put another row of houses in here, get rid of this road, and the road would actually be out around the outside of that one. And it would give us more population to help this area and whatever else gets built along this fringe over here on the way down the bridge to this area. Okay, and I think that's a better plan than this neighborhood out here that I was going to have to build out to eventually. A lot more, you know, industry out here and, and something else out here to kind of justify the whole thing. And if I had time and, you know took this series out for boy at the rate I'm going another three or four months <laughs> and built into this area and then on down in then yeah this would have been the beginning of something else you know maybe with farms in between the sense of a town over here and the sense of another town over there but maybe a different looking town maybe a lot of row houses over there and maybe this eventually merged into something over here but I don't want to invest that much time into this series. The goal here was to get everything built, get it functioning, and and enjoy it. But after a while, you start repeating yourself and doing the same thing over and over again. And pretty soon, almost nobody's watching it anymore. And you I'd wish that I had just, you know, found a nice conclusion and started a different game. So that's what I will be doing. But rotate building. I'm still attached to something over there. Okay. So with all that talking going on, we're still into November or October. So I don't want to do that on camera because I need to spend a lot of time just kind of staring at things. But I think it would be wise to save the space alongside this lot here and make a new market area and kind of curve the road around, kind of take my time and really shape this well. This can go away. What it becomes, I don't know. Not sure. Yeah, we'll figure that one out later. But while with that question answered and that probable plan going on, let's slow this down and experiment over here. We talked about this last time. Let's do it and just see what it looks like. If this went over here, what is the logical path for the road? So this needs to come in just a little bit, I'd say. The road's going to clip the far corner of that. So, in between. I went ahead and rebuilt that fence. I think I did. No, I didn't. I started to build all this, and I decided to wait and do it on camera, so I didn't save what I did. I see it's all gone now. Okay, so delete you and you and you okay so in that case let's grab a copy of that wall and look at probably beyond this guy so we force the pathway down a little bit it's about like so and attempt to shoot you through there is a spot and drop you probably there too short? Oh, I'm done. Okay. Yep, that from this side hides that that sand pit pretty good. If I left more space, I could put trees in between, but I guess I can put trees right out here, and they would hide it well enough, too. Okay. This eventually will probably come down and then arch again somewhere, you know, for this road to travel through. Kind of like that idea. What it does afterward, I don't know. There's a lot of space between these two buildings. I don't know what the plan is for right in here. I do know a lot of buildings will not build in here. 
So it won't be buildings, it'll be more decor, I'm guessing. But with that there, let's grab one of you and put you... Bad slope over here. The road's got to be up in here. So maybe we can't gain as much as I had hoped. Looks like we're, the slope's good right there. It drops off down in there. We can kind of see the, the curve of the arch base. Yeah, so in here. So if this were sitting right in there between those two posts, they would still leave a good road. You can see where they're walking right now. Okay, so you go there. We'll get that one built, and then we'll wall from there either to that corner, or this comes down too, and we start sloping at this point, so this can be aimed at this. That's what I'm not sure. It'd be probably the only one. Hmm. Let's do let's do something else first so I can see more things. What if we went from this corner to here? Like so. Build that out. Let's move you in. Uh, school's almost done. We'll let them finish the school. Move these two in here. And let's fill stone into here. Exactly where, I don't know. I'm thinking just the path for now. I don't know if I want to stone the whole thing in here. I don't think we can. Not with the well and all that. I think it's... What's it look like? Is it just bumped out all around the place? Oh, it won't even let me see it. Okay, so let's go this route. Yeah, we bump out for the staircases. I don't don't know how stone's going to work in here. But we can, if we want to, we could stone this pathway, whatever the road turns out to, to look like when it's done. Which is what? This guy is a problem, isn't it? Just put it there, but it forces the road down the ditch. So that's probably going to have to leave hate to say it, but realistically, your, the road needs to be up in here. Even this guy is kind of sticking out into what needs to be the road. But I think we can curve around back into there again. But this guy is a problem, so we need to find a place to put him permanently. And that might be back here, even. Right along the back side of that. So we go to this area to, for the whole... All the businesses come over here to grab carts. Maybe. Um... With those in place, oh, that's what I was doing. What was I doing? I was putting in this guy too. I think it's from here to here. Are you gonna let me? What's equal? About like that. Okay, it seems to want to let me do that. I see as I move around, it changes the shape. So we're gonna lose it. So I need to go a little further in order to get it to show up over there. That's probably about even. Okay. So you're going there. You're going next. Right in there. So let's get these guys built. Get the arch built. And then... What was the noise? That was... Panutene. And... You... That's the town I have the most trouble pronouncing. I want you as tight as possible. I think the only way to do that is to start here. Primary school is finished. So I can go there? I can. Let's see the center point and how deep can I go? Right there. Okay, pull out. And let's grab there. It's just so we can see this guy. There. That looks off. Let's start you... Alt. I'll have to fix that other one. I think you're right, more like right about there. Something like that. Right there. Yeah, close enough. Okay. So that idea there, I think, is what happens over here with this arch. Come down a little bit further than the fence line there in order to accommodate that doorway. Okay, but that kind of gives us the look here. So, this will be straight, but down here, 
I thought about curving that one, but it'd be the only curved one with a gate, 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 and maybe a gate, and then a row that comes around the back side of one more row house. And then it comes down here, and what happens in the back, I don't know. Let's go check out this trader. And you want... No, you want to sell us salt. Okay. Honey, mead... We're probably still around the 18, 1900 in mead. Yeah, nothing going on there. Um, sunflower oil, we're still just have enough for ourselves. Same with the flour and barely that. Flour, we're going to have to figure out what to do with. It's dwindling as our population goes up. Broadcloth, sallow, you want to buy. So where are we? November, onions, 1500. We can handle 1000. Let's sell 500. Deal. And the tray suspended until ne next spring. It's over. Okay. And yet it let me put that in. And there's 300 there too. What's going on? Apparently we just did them at the end of last episode. Okay, well let's put in 500 more. We're from the same town. We're river. So they've taken the apples... They've taken the onions. They haven't left the map yet. Okay. Whether these other ones actually arrive, I don't know if they will. It, uh, it triggered. Yeah. Should not have even given us the chance to do this. But we'll put that in there anyway. And we'll just give up on the rest. But that means they are probably not off the map yet. Right over there. November... Yeah, and slowly crawling off the map. We're at the very end of the river. Had we started the game over here, then they would have arrived... Now, where's our limits? I guess over here. If we had taken this area to start, then they would have arrived very quickly. Then we... Yeah, if they had done that, of course, then the carts would come through the woods here from the uh, for the, the land trading. It'd be a whole different town and a whole different game, wouldn't it? Very different back over here. This is where the stone was. This is where the lime was. The iron. Yeah, this area gives you quicker access to everything. But everybody else was starting this map right in here. And I don't like to be like everybody else. <laughs> All right, so where are we going now? I am recording, right? Yeah, okay. 20 minutes in. So I guess it's just time to speed things up and, man, let's get things built. So we're doing the stones, and we have a full complement of builders, so they should be plowing through this pretty fast. Boom, 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 and kind of done. Kind of done. And we're, oh, wow. <laughs> we're there. Okay, those two are finished. So stone pathway going through. And I suppose when this one does build, we'll stone path in between and then stone path out to there and make that a contiguous pathway there. And yeah, it looks good on the bridge and we could even take, you know, eventually we'll pick a, a path probably up through here and then through, although I guess it'd be here because stone pathing through this would be a nightmare. So many little rectangles and triangles trying to fill it all in yeah that it's got to be hard on the uh, on the frame rate too and have so many little projects all packed into one little area I would imagine that'd be hard to calculate visually over and over again there's bound to be some overlapping it's like the carts when a bunch of them come in and they sit over here and they just kind of flicker and twitch because they're stacking on top of each other so I'm going to be careful about that kind of a thing. All right, so you're making charcoal. Charcoal for the town right now is where? Uh, 15,000, 14,000. Okay. Firewood? 36,000. You guys are going crazy with firewood right now because you've actually got logs. Now, you're sitting at 18 logs, and you can't do much more while you're doing that. Getting a drink of water, taking a rest, going to work. And sawing logs for wood. Okay. So you're staying busy enough. You should be in charge of this. Will you be? Peeling bark? K. 
Okay, and peeling the... I wish I'd pause it. Peeling the bark, I think, brought in both. Grabbing a log, waiting for a log. Chopping a tree. Okay, so you guys are working on a red X, or are you working on a granary? Let's wait and find out here. If it's a red X, then it's toward the, the far bridge. But it looks like you're going to a building site. So you've taken over the building sites then. So you're working on building sites. This one, I could just move that one over and let you work on this one too, just to get it done. And that's only one tree left. We could do that as well. So there's three building sites you can wipe out before. Well, and you're five trees. Okay, I guess you guys are the uh, are the number one uh, forestry at the moment. So let's add three, uh, two more back in and, and uh, ramp you up. So five and three and just keep you working until those five sites are done. Then we head off to the pigsty and start working on all of these. And that would be the other one doing all that. You're up in there too. So you are a row house. You're that one. So we want this row house next so we can see that corner. And then we're going to get to this guy and that guy. And then those are done. Then we'll add one more here and another corner. And this neighborhood will be finished. Then we've got a second mine, which isn't critical right now, because iron... Where are you? 900. Yeah, we're, we're doing fine on iron. We don't need to add any more to that. You are a field in a field, so not too worried about getting these guys up and running. We're doing what we need right now. And then we're off to decor, really. Finish, kind of finishing off our, our clutter on our shoreline. And by then, maybe you will be used maybe by then with the added population there and soon i'll start adding these properties back in and kind of wrapping around figure out the road get the bridge set and yeah we'll start having a lot more population coming in so we probably could use another round of potatoes or something by then and flour let's play with flour for a little bit wheat six thousand we have way more wheat and we have the ability to turn it into flour. Two guys working. All right. If this goes away, so I gotta wrap my head around this because we've got all these archways coming in to a public area. So if that's not a market, then what is it? But the market over here would open up so many more possibilities for us. Mark it right in there. And there's no room to put these, so it's going to be a while before this is ready to uh, empty and delete. While I'm at it, I guess we'll empty you. and No, you already are, so let's make you go away. And this one goes away. So this one needs to go away, and we'll delete him. That leaves five per, so it leaves ten out here, and five over on the other side. Yeah, there should be ten of them in there. So that, and then this one was supposed to go away too. Let's make you empty as well. Get rid of you. It opens up the space so that I can play something when I'm, when I come up with what's supposed to be there. All right, so you are the same house. Now you didn't plant last year. Now let's slow down and think about this. You work there. Okay. Did we finish anything? We're still working on that. And we're still working on that. Okay, so nothing over here built. It was just the stuff over there. The arch, the pavement, the pavement. Okay, I've got to go look at that arch. But you are still having problems. You can reach chick, uh, eggs and chicken. And eggs are on their way in. And you are going to... Is that you? No. Home. That's you? Yeah. And you are going to here. Okay, I need to see if you can go to the other one. I don't see any reason why you can't. Um, if that were the case, then we'd only have eggs and chicken and meat over here, but you've got these other things too. Maybe they grew all these things this year and didn't buy, and nobody bought any of them from the market. Okay, you're there. And nope, you're not. Where am I? Right there. See, you're even closer than all of these. That's why I'm confused. So, you're obviously going to there, but is anybody else in your family, oh, it's just the two of you, going to be hitting a different market, getting a different supply, different kind of food? 
So while that's going, well, let's come back to that, I guess. I need to get a teacher into here. And what else do I need to be keeping an eye on? But I want to see if another food goes in there that isn't provided by one of these two market stalls. That one or that one. So that would help me out a lot to understand what's going on here. Um, this one we did not employ, correct? Yeah, you're just sitting there, so you don't really mean anything yet. Lost that house there. So, so far it's just the eggs. But we're going to run out of chicken here soon, so we should get an answer. So what else is going on while we're waiting for that? You need another person. So you must have finally gone down below the logs. Okay, let's put three people in. Three and one. That should be enough for now. And even then, it's broken a hand going here. You've eaten through the chicken. You didn't get the eggs. Interesting. Why did you not get the eggs? You went back to work. You have gone to work. Okay. Someone's got queued up to get eggs again. Maybe the eggs left. I don't think they can. I think once they're... they're set to grab I think they're locked in I don't know let's so eventually somebody's gonna get those eggs you will when you get home okay I want to see how this works all right let's try to remember to go back to that family because as soon as I click it goes away unfortunately it would be nice to be able to pin things like banish does but if I snap to oh I don't snap I can snap to you and then you go in here to the center as best as possible and then come out a tiny bit you go there so that's the look if this went away and that went away that gives us more of a courtyard do we angle this guy from here and then fence the rest of the way or do we leave them all aligned the same alignment so that is the question. You demolish and let's move you. Yeah, maybe we'll do that now. You're all working in this area anyway. Okay, so that goes away. It feels tight over here. It does. It feels like this does need to curve just to open up this this congestion a little bit. Balaclia. Okay. Um, Balaclia. Yeah, we'll deal with you in a little bit. I think I need to... to angle that I just do it just feels because this is so big and it just makes it feel even more congested to me I think I'm just going to go go for that demolish you also move you up in there maybe we can see both of them this uh, this game you are still over here and you aren't getting the eggs you keep trying to but then it fails how is that possible you, I mean, you have no eggs, but once they call for it, this will have a, you know, a t eggs with tan and a down arrow, meaning it's, it's claimed. So nobody else can come and get it. Are they going bad that quickly? Uh, where's eggs over here? You? Almost. Eggs are in great shape over here. I don't think the eggs last long enough to ever go bad. I guess I can see that. Resources. Uh, where am I? Right there. And chicken eggs. Do they ever go bad? Produced a store. The bad isn't even an option here. Compared to chicken meat. Perished. And there's not a lot of it though. There's a pretty low quantity of chicken meat that goes bad. But chicken eggs never go bad. There's no perished even on the list. We eat them too quick. Okay. So, I'm starting to make the guess they really can't get to any other market. Let's just quickly fix that. Just without having to wait any longer. We have lots of. Uh, let's go here. Onions and peas for sure. And beetroots and horseradish. Let's just do that right here, even if just temporarily. So, we've got beetroots, we've got um, horseradish, I saw you, 
There were obviously peas. We have plenty of those. And onions we have plenty of. Okay, let's hire that worker and make it a late... At this point for the test, we'll make it whoever's available. The most likely it is a lady because all these other businesses we opened up this time are all men. So with that, you should immediately be able to start stocking something. And can I just randomly click and hit it? No, there you are. It's a snow-covered roof. There's no way to see that thing. <laughs> um, demolish completed brick, brick arch. Okay, that's the first one. This one's going down next. I'm running so fast, it's not taking long at all. But I'm going to have to get these building materials out of here. Oh, okay. So let's make empty. Really, really make empty. I still need bricks over here. I do not, but bricks are stored over here. And there's room, so maybe somebody will do that. Hopefully, but I'm thinking this guy goes here. Um, don't really have a good alignment. Let's just eyeball it then. So our, we're going from here to there. So we'll need a little more. Let's get you pretty much vertical and right, right over the top. That's pretty close got to have a starting point here. I guess the way I could do it is this. Let's delete you. Oh! That didn't stutter. I deleted that and I didn't even notice it. Let's... These were having a lot of trouble last time. And look at that. No stutter at all. I wonder if a quick little unannounced patch came out in the night to fix that little issue. And it doesn't exist anymore. That would be nice. Get you there. In which case the hot fix worked. And there's no more concern about anything. So if you were here. Hmm. I need a starting point. For the next one. So if I just pop you like that. And then take you into here. Come on let go. That looked like I hit it pretty good. Nope, it's off a tiny little bit. Okay, so this way just a tiny bit. You go away, uh, demolish, and grab you again. Hook you there, and you come in to about there. Okay. And... Hmm... Okay, that didn't quite do what I wanted. Let's try this another way. Now that I've got that figured out... Problem is, I need a starting point. I need I can't tell where to start in here because it doesn't snap to. So if I do that, that's centered. That still off a little bit. Okay. But what I can do with that is grab you, start here. Now it'll snap. Because there's a post there. Take you out to about an arch width. A little bit less just to give me an aim. And I need to come out just the tiniest little bit. So about there. Okay. Now I can delete you. And I can delete you. And that's in pretty good alignment. Okay. So another arch. And I need you aligned with that fence. Um, R. What can I use? Right there. Control. I think we're there. Did I? I didn't leave enough room, did I? Oh, I did. Oh, we're still waiting on the bricks. All that work. And I can't do a thing until those bricks leave. Okay. Speed her back up. How's that family doing? They're over there. Okay, so they still haven't really successfully done anything. They're waiting for 10 more. Are they actually going to do it this time? As long as they keep getting something, it, it kind of resets the timer before they move out. Looks like you're making it this time, and you're there, and you've got it with you. Okay. So that should show up at the house. Then we'll, once they get there, we'll see if they go off uh, after another thing. Probably a failed egg run again. I'm curious how that works. Let's tear that apart this time. Um, get inside, and another trigger. Not another trigger. Now you're... Oh, beats. Oh, so that's what I was going to say. Did you... You're ready to go down. Did you stock? 
You did. Okay. So now we've got food there, and now they're going to go pick... Actually, they probably picked several. We saw that once. They went for one thing, and then went and got three things. Because it was available. So I'm curious to see if that works. You're going to come over to here. And load up on... Who are you? You are the lady. You're going to get ten of those and ten of those. And you're on your way back. Okay. Well, as soon as it was closer... She went right for it. Which tells me she cannot reach this. So these houses here must be supplying themselves entirely on what comes out of these two markets. I mean, wow. Okay. So how are we over here? We got some of them moved. We are still emptying. Um, have married. Completed a row house. Ah, we're in. Slow down. So what do we got here? We've got three apartments in here. And a nice look. Okay. Would be interesting if we could get a barber surgeon into one of these corner buildings. Or some other profession. I, you know, we've got stores in these. Has died of old age. But what else would work? Something like that. A tavern really wouldn't. You need a lot more space. But a barber surgery, I can kind of imagine, you know, a couple of rooms for the profession and everything else is the home. Hmm. Anyway, you're in. So while we're waiting for that to go away, we could think more about this. So you're done. And an arch. Let's just see the arch. So grab you and then... Turn once. How close is that alignment wise? Uh, right there. That's actually right on. Maybe just one touch of R and we're good. Okay. So, yeah, I don't want this aligned with that fence and smacking into the doorway there. That just felt wrong. But I can't get this fence any further down because of the sand pit. So, something has got to move. And if it moved only as far as these fences, that wouldn't look so weird. Now, centered is all the way over here, though, so I don't think I can squeeze even that in. So you're in here, and you're down there-ish. I think so. So you're there. So we'll rebuild this, build this once again so it makes it to that corner, come down. And from here, either we come back. No, I think we just go through. I think we just go through. And what happens out here, I'm not sure. But that continues the look. Maybe that the back side is what nobody will ever see. Maybe we'll only see the map from here. <laughs> With this guy peeking around the side, that roof peeking over the top. Yeah, I like that. Do I do... I was going to do a big three-story here, but it might be nice to see whatever happens here peeking over as well. Maybe this is a three-story end. That could be. We'll see. That thing was quite big when we had it sitting there. It was. Hmm. But it would show up over this roof nicely. This 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 uneven look here, I kind of like that. Huh. But yeah, like the fake houses and fake saloons and whatnot, they'd use in old westerns. It only had the front facade and everything else was hollow from the back. That yeah, well, that's what we'll make of our big blanks that are going to be hiding back over here. <laughs> anyway, um. So that's going on. This house should have no more trouble. And curious, well, all these already have their own beetroot and stuff that they've grown. So I guess we got to wait to uh, to see when all of this stuff goes away. Whether or not they start grabbing from over here. Yeah, they may be emptying this place out really fast. Yeah, it's quite possible that uh, we won't have as many peas because it didn't realize there were a whole bunch of houses that couldn't even reach them. Maybe we'll finally start using some of this stuff up. Did this ever happen? The 500 came in, um, and it never shows us a ship on the water. But no, there's no more ship coming in to buy those 500. So we'll have to hopefully do that first of spring. What happens here, though? Where am I? Right there. Are you still... You're still there. Suspended, but you're still showing. So I'll leave it in place and see if you come out, you know, in March. 
on your own. Completed a granary? Good. So we are working on you next. Yeah, the uh, um, the trees are gone. So these... F all five granaries. We'll get all these in. Whether we use them or not is, is, is not the issue. We'll get them in place. They'll be there to shape what the rest of this is going to look like. Get a road cut through, get a bridge set, then I can start laying out houses around it. So after that, there's one more tree to go in here, and then it shifts over to these guys again, which I left at a full complement. You're chopping a tree. So you're jumping ahead. Oh, nice. Yep, yeah, they're working on this, even though these guys are still working on this. Oh, because the one tree is actually down. So this one probably no longer really counts. They're coming to pick it up, but they've already chopped it down, so it shifted to that one. And after that one, we're up in here, there, there, and there. So it's this crew now. Which means these guys can now be brought back down to three. So, going to work, waiting for a partner, taking a rest, you're gone. And buying food, you're gone. Alright. So, back to three, running this one. They're really just going to be chopping logs. I only need one, to be honest. They won't be taking down any more logs until we get... Oh, we're only at eight. Okay. So, they'll still be taking down logs. But they'll be taking these logs from here on out. Okay, good. All right, so you guys are set. You, we did set back up to three, and you're working only on these logs until we figure out what else to do with you. You don't use firewood enough to go into work, working, working. What? Oh, because you have 18 logs. So now that you have 18, you're not even going to cut these down. Yeah, so that's kind of a taking a rest, and you're almost done. Yeah, okay, so no point in, in hiring this up again until we're down to two or three logs, and then they can come out and finish this. Okay, so that leaves us a little more population to grab jobs. You guys are here, and now we have 14 and 9, 15 and 9 looking for jobs. Really? That's a, a lot more than I expected. Hmm. We have not filled. Slow down. Why have we not filled? You're employed all year long. Nobody came over here. Five did make it to here. You have not. You're not allowed until March. But what is with this? It's not like they... Uh, have been, you know, fired the month before and they're just building up again. This never filled the entire time. Five all year long. What happened there? I don't know. Dirkachi will do you while I'm scratching my head on that one. Um, right over here and Dirkachi, you want charcoal. You will take 15, we have 10. Let's do 12. I think that's the the best way to deal with that kind of a thing. 12,000 still brings in a lot of money. We're at over 12,000 in the in the bank now deal. And that is done. Let's just go with buying things. Leather. Leather we have a lot less of. You're doing shoes. Yeah, that's not textile. Let's bring in 2,000 leather deal. And that can sit in a storage place for a while. Metal parts were fine. Iron, we're, we're, we're leveling. We were going up 300, 400, 600, 900, and we've never really crossed past the 900. So somehow we've hit a balance point in there without realizing. Pigs, cows, horses, uh, we buy sallow from you. Let's grab 1,000 of it, deal. And... Dried fish, we're going to start making our own. We have none, though. So let's grab 200 until we actually start making our own. Um, 300. 
Yeah, that's fine. Potatoes we can get rid of more, so whoever is willing to do that. And cancel. That's it. That's it. So to sell to you. Shoes. Um, let's bring... Can I get 3,000 down here? Can I fit 3,000 in the uh, trading post? We've got a lot of thousands moving in and out right now. Hmm. Let's work with 2,000. Just to make sure we're rolling. If we can get all this done before March, then that should be fine. So I'll sell you 2,000. And... Yeah, charcoal and shoes. That's all we've sold so far. Okay. So shoes, 2,000. Where are you? Right there. That one. And tailor shops completed. Great. We'll head over there next. Um, Jakachi shoes, buckwheat. Where are we at now? We're at over 6,000 in buckwheat at this point. Interesting. Charcoal, chicken eggs, and sunflower oil. We have moved back up again because we had another crop come in. Now, I slowed down production, so it should last longer. Let's do... We'll do 1,000 because we have a pretty full trader going on here. So, sunflower oil right there, 1,000. And temporary U. Hopefully that gets triggered here soon. We're... Demands... Yeah, you're buying from us, but we still have to store it until it gets hauled away. Apples, the same thing. Oh, man, I want to sell these things. That was July, so we're... Yeah, we need to do that. Let's sell... Let's see. March, April, May, June, July. Still half a year. So 3,000... Let's try it. 3,000. I know we're going to hit full on storage. Storing all that salt and all that... Uh, charcoal does limit our ability to use the trader when we get a, a full you know a full roster like this deal 3,000 and let's put 3,000 apples in here as well so what does that do three four five six seven eight eighteen and we're buying uh 1920 21. That's 21,000. Okay, we can do it. There's 25 in here. 25. So it looks like we're going to pull it off, though it's really filling up. Okay. Oh, we have stone. We have 6,000 stone in here. That's why. There's the other 6,000. Or the other, you know, the rest of it. And we still have 1,500 wheat in here, too. Uh, we have a cart shed. We do. Stone. You are stone, and you're empty. Let's get 6,000 stone moved out of here. Uh, this one. And laborers, cart shed. So you are here. Stone, let's move all of it. There to there. Let's get that going. Resource relocation successfully ordered. I don't remember all those words last time. And this guy is showing it here. So either we're going to work perfectly or we're about to crash. We will see. <laughs> I I don't know if I really want to test things. You are full. You are charcoal, right? Now that should be getting moved out pretty quick as we start to empty this one as the first carts arrive. And they're going to be a while yet. They're probably still only halfway here. Okay, where am I up? I'm getting there. 50 some minutes. Um... So we're done testing markets. We know now that we do need to move it. So that is a thing. How best to? I guess I'll just lay them out. And whatever needs a tree taken down gets a tree taken down. Okay. So market I'll do after, in between episodes most likely. This time or next time. Um, this is still waiting. Now I can cart shed out of here. This is what crashed it before. But I gave it a chance. Let's try. Bricks are going here. Let's just see if that works. So you... Now, will it tell me? Can I click on anything? Resource stack. So that's where it's going. This is where it is headed. Okay. And no sense of the worker. Okay. Now, how did you do? So does one person. So I don't know what's going on there. 
when we've got looking for a job 11 men? Did we severely limit the work radius? That's our closest housing, right? Well, no, I guess it's right in here. These aren't houses. So right in here, over the bridge, or right there. One person is all that has made it. Interesting. And you are bringing building materials over. Okay. So you guys, you are, don't know what you're up to. You're taking a rest. That didn't get done, and it may not for quite some time. Speed things back up again. It would be nice. Now, the pile has gotten smaller. Is there any chance that... Let's see, let's just do it this way. In case that one just happens to still be a line, but it, it isn't. And there's still no chance to do that now. Okay. Now, does the center change now that we're changing the angle? No, that still looks pretty well centered. And it still pretty much faces this, which was the plan. We'll go until we touch right there, probably. Yeah, okay. So, it's just a matter of waiting for that to happen. Now, what I don't know is, now that I've assigned it to a cart... Well, I guess I do know. It has been officially assigned, so nobody else can go and pick that up anymore. It's already been given ownership to something. Yeah, that was a little staggered, but I think we saved at the same time. So, so far, we're doing fine. You need logs, and you're going to keep yelling at me until you get more workers, but I'm not going to worry about you until we get down to two or three logs. Now the granary is done. So with that, we could essentially start to form a road out here. Yeah, we kind of could. So I could do that in between episodes too. Throw some fences down, get an idea where the road is. Start setting some properties in. And get a bridge set. And then next time we'll just start building all the stuff. Um, so you are surprisingly still waiting. No carts on the way yet? Just starting to get here. Okay. And your pathway is kind of straight... Until you hit this corner? I think so. And then you head in. Till here. And nobody's waiting. So you must be the first cart. Otherwise, we are madly bringing everything over that we can. We're getting rid of these guys. We are bringing 3,000 apples. 300 are waiting. 1,000 of you. 2,000 of you. So everything's here. Except for those 300. So we made it. We haven't gotten rid of the stone. So hopefully some of these other things start to disappear as quickly as they're dumped off. And that will work. We've got our cows coming out. We're into March. Everybody has kind of been laid off. We're going to start to... Uh, more cows are coming in over here. Yeah. Um, usually about this time of each episode, I check to see if we're dying over here in the tannery. But you're fine. And this tannery is up and running. There's a hundred left waiting. We could, once the shearing is done, is it officially done? Nope, it is happening. There, now it is officially done. We could get rid of two more rams, you and you. And that will finish off this run here and give us another batch. Okay, these two are, are plowing. We must have fallows in a... We are low in ox. Okay. I missed that message. And I don't think there are any more ox sitting in these. I had sit, I had done two of them. I would bought two of them. Oh, here we go. Did I miss you that whole time? You know, I think I did. That's the one from last episode. No. No, because we sat here waiting for her to go and... And uh, to come out and bring the ox out. And everybody went and took a break. That's right. So I did get that done. This is the other one. So that one's about to go next, and then we'll start re, uh, replacing these guys out here. They should be... Now, can I click on an ox mid-work? Pause. I can. 14, 14, and 16, 14. So you'll be, you guys will be going next. So we definitely want to make sure we've got a couple of, well, at least two-year-old bulls. That, that works right there. There's a team. There's another two-year-old over here. Bulls. We have an ox that's leaving. 
and some one-year-olds. So we've got enough bowls to keep us going for a while. Messenger from over here. And actually with that, I think I will call this one done. I'll, I doubt there's anything. Actually, I'm, let's peek at that real quick. Is that last one still triggered? Right there. You're still here, so I assume that is still valid. Be curious to see if that just gets stuck there forever. Four days by river. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see what happens there. But I'll deal with them in between episodes and lay out some more of those buildings. Figure out what's happening here. And show you next time everything that got done, including hopefully that one. Yeah. Alright folks, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.